hi guys good afternoon today i'm going to discuss about indirect taxation that is uh, you can see here study note to levy and collection of tax in that in last video i just completed what is supply taxable points and i completed as per sub scope of supply uh, section uh, as per section 7 1 supply includes as per section 7 2 supply excludes these points i completed in last video of gst okay there i created playlist in my channel you can go and visit there maybe our my team updated there uh, just i'm going to discuss now uh so till here i just completed now i'm going to discuss the example three which is group two indirect tax that is that that is a gst okay now uh, example three i'm going to concentrate that is uh, only studying concept is not enough you have to understand because maybe they won't ask question from this but as per conceptual clarity they will ask only different level of question which is the concept best so try to understand the concept example three is the example for sale okay mr x one second i will tell you mr x sold the laptop or rupees 1 lakh and issued invoice in favor of mr y means he sold laptop mr x sold laptop to mr y for 1 lakh rupees now ownership in the laptop transfer to mr y when he will sell what will happen he will transfer his the ownership so this is example of sale such transaction shall be covered in the sale okay it is supply of goods and liable for tax okay so what happened in the example 3 x sold he laptop for 1 lakh rupees to mr b this is the example of sale because he transferred the ownership of the goods so supply of, this is the example of supply of goods and it will come in the definition of gst so this example is for the uh, sale so sale is liable for gst okay example four i am going for example four this is important that is illegal activity versus prohibited activity mr illegal activity means which is out of league uh, out out of uh, legal words means it is uh, illegal not legally and prohibited activity means which is not uh, in the um, goods which is not accepted it is a prohibited rejected goods okay Re rejected goods or services so that kind uh, they are given on the basis of example just we are going to read now illegal activity versus prohibited activity okay uh, example first that is one for the illegal activity mr t is a thief has stolen motorbike and sells the motorbike to mr q it is the illegal to steal the motorbike what mr t is a thief he stolen one motorbike already oh, already chore and usne kya kya hai he stolen motorbike and sells the motorbike to mr q okay so again he is selling the motorbike to mr q oh kya kar raha hai he is selling the motorbike to q it is illegal steal a motorbike they are telling it is a illegal stealing anything stealing kuch bhi chori karna that is a illegal okay uh, in that he is selling though it is example of sale also and illegal activity activity also sale of motorbike considered as supply sale of motorbike obviously is considered as a supply of goods because goods so supply ho raha hai supply of goods liable to taxable okay illegal activity here till even he is selling the goods to other person so it is liable for tax because it is a it will come under the concept of sale which is liable to tax okay miss uh, example two that is a prohibited activity prohibited activity mr t sold narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances narcotic drugs drugs is a prohibited product and psychotropic substances also prohibited products prohibited products is selling so it won't come in the definition of gst if definition of gst it will come they will show everyone so it is not it is a legally prohibited okay mr t sold narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances to mr q for three lakhs these goods are prohibited these goods itself prohibited that is not allowed to sell so it is these goods are prohibited goods such activity cannot be constituted as supply the product itself not accepted these are rejected products so it won't come in the 
it won't call as a supply so what is the solution for this mr t is a punishable under law mr t should because he is selling prohibited goods mr t should punishable under law okay just remember illegal activity versus prohibited activity prohibited activity is or illegal and who is selling that kind of products is punishable under the law okay now mr uh, mr x that is example 5 mr x is an official liquidator so ultimate conclusion i will tell you what is the conclusion here mr x is an official liquidator provided various services like valuable of asset with the help of valuer uniting means in example 5 Mr. X is a official liquidator. He is giving services like valuation of asset with the help of valuers, valuers initiating and evaluating some companies getting merged or liquidation is going on. So he is just mediator to sell the asset. He is taking the tender, evaluating the tender, selling the asset, making the payment to borrowers, creditors, and so on. So like this activities he is doing. On that he is getting commission. So he is earning commission. to giving a services this is he giving a services like uh, making the payment means he is just giving his services that uh, valuating asset and initiating and evaluating tenders so from this business he is getting commission and he is earning commission it is a subject to gst the ultimate fund is what if you are earning commission from business you have to pay tax and if you are earning income tax you have to pay income tax if you are earning income as an individual you have to pay income tax if you are earning any income from indirect tax of that is a business you have to pay gst ultimate you have to pay tax all this way to that that way if you are earning amount government want amount from us okay so commission the conclusion is commission earned by him because yeah uh, see uh, mr x are treated as supply of service and the commission earned by him subject to gst just commission earned by any business is liable for gst okay this is the conclusion just make the mark where is the important because near exam you cannot read this because there is in study note two you will get two not five or two not one examples are there and every examples are very important so just make the point you you have to read again and again and make the final point so you will get to know how to answer it okay example 6 example 6 is very easy there is nothing you just read it uh, finally mr a is a liable to pay gst on the consideration consideration received from mr x limited head office mr a is a dealer he has to pay tax just read this there is nothing on uh, now the transfer the term transfer means where the ownership may not transfer but the right of right in the goods is transferred transfer means this um, point example is a example 8 so i will tell you trans the term transfer means where the ownership may not be transferred ownership not transfer means he didn't sell the goods but he is transferring the rights he is allowing to use the goods that is a, he is giving rights to use the goods so that is the meaning of this this is important just make a star mark it is important now i am going to illustration 7 just keep this is uh, important goods sent for a demonstration on returnable basis is it supply they are asking is it supply that is a returnable basis goods you are you sent one good that is a returnable basis so they are asking gst or not nothing they are asking they are asking is it a supply so the answer is no that is a basic common sense because you are giving goods and you are taking back it is a returnable basis so there is no supply no supply no gst it won't include in the definition of gst the what is the answer no it would not be considered as supply there is no transfer of title now transfer the actual meaning will come in the illustration sorry example 8 mr a is the owner of xerox machine mr a is the owner of xerox machine he transfer the right to operate the xerox machine to mr b what he is doing he is just giving that rights to operate the xerox machine he is just giving rights not selling okay to mr b for a consideration he is taking money because it is a consideration for a consideration for for 10000 per month for 4 months he is giving his right up to 4 months as a monthly basis 10000 has to pay so this is the example of 
a right to use not ownership hence ownership of machine is not transferred he didn't sell so ownership is not transferred but the right in the machine is transferred he is given to use that machine and for that he is getting amount so it is called as a supply it is a supply of service and liable to just ultimate you are earning money you have to pay amount to the government okay because right to use also in that he is earning 10,000 per month so he has to pay GST okay this is example 8 in the next ex uh, next video I will go from barter I will complete try to, I will try to complete 10 10 questions in one one video if you like the video please subscribe my channel that is a CMA leave for more update click on bell icon and in Facebook you can follow my CMA leaf group there I'm going to update each and everything of the videos and I will give some in interesting topics there that is for uh, totally it is a different so if you like the video please subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video thanks a lot bye bye